Welcome to a special edition of The Observers. We are following events in Ukraine closely. There are hundreds or thousands of videos coming out of the country every day. And we're using what's known as OSINT techniques to verify them. That means taking the videos and using publicly available information like Google Maps and sharing information with other online investigators. We're part of a global project that's trying to authenticate videos that come out of Ukraine and put them on the map. Take a look. My name is Benjamin Strick. I'm the Director of Investigations for the Centre for Information Resilience, which is a UK not-for-profit based on looking and investigating and disturbing disinformation and influence operations, specifically around human rights abuses and conflicts like, what, like what's happening in Ukraine at the moment. Specifically, we started looking at troop movements around the borders of Ukraine, and now we've escalated into a full, uh, uh, essentially a full conflict that we're seeing with bombings happening in civilian areas. And that's where this work is really important to document and verify that information. So we have a map uh, at the Center for Information Resilience called the Russia-Ukraine Monitor Map. We've used open source software to develop a map that's crowdsourced, so a lot of members of the community are sending in submissions, are helping us verify this content. And we started to build that up. About mid-February onwards, we started to actually document conflicts on the map. So where there might be shellings, um, where there might have been bombings or, or gunfire and things like that. <laughs> Полностью пиздец. Пиздец, блядь. Квартал нахуй лих. And what we do is we geolocate them. And that's answering that question of where. And by geolocation, what I mean is by looking at, say, street signs in the background, buildings, trees, and things like that, to give that an exact, precise location on Google Maps or Google Earth. And with that, we're able to then put a pin in exactly a location as to where that video was filmed. And that's sort of been replicated more than 600 times now. And that's what we have on the map. Ten, eleven, twelve. Вон, смотри, тоже зарево. Глянь, глянь. Да, 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 я камерой поймал. Фига себе. Each one of those pins represents a video that you might see on Twitter or a photo. Um, and it really helps to tell the story of what's really happening in and around Ukraine at the moment with the movements, but also the bombings um, that, that have been occurring. <laughs> We have a mix of people that are contributing to the map, and, and I think this sort of go, this plays into the effect of the community. So we have satellite imagery analysts, we have disinformation specialists that are great at analysing propaganda campaigns, but we also have journalists now that have picked up these sort of skills of looking at Google Earth and teasing through the details. So this is footage that was uploaded in recent days um, of a, uh, a bombing in Kharkiv. Um, and what we're seeing is, is quite a sort of heavy amount of, of shelling or, or, or explosions in the background. So we have quite a large car park down the bottom right in the video here. And we also have a car park over here. We've got quite a large sort of complex there, which means that there's obviously parking going on, which means that there's a lot of people that might be coming in and out. And we've got some flags down here. Um, but what we also have in the background, which isn't too obvious on this screen, but we have a large tower here and, and a unique red building. 
Now, having a look around on Google Earth, we started to think about, could this be shopping malls? We had a look for telecommunications towers as well, which we're able to just type into Google, shopping malls in Kharkiv. There's not too many very large shopping malls in Kharkiv, so we're able to dig through a few of them. And what we're able to do is to identify this shopping mall here in the middle. But what we're seeing is a lot of vehicle repair shops, we're seeing um, more vehicle repair shops and kind of like a trade area as well, which indicates that it's a civilian area, but also the fact that these bombs were dropped quite close to what is a shopping mall, um, a supermarket and residential buildings as well. And that's just an indication of one of the videos that we've been verifying, um, which we have uh, on the map with more than 600 of these videos now represented just as one of those. And so the importance of the map is not only to just verify footage, but also to counter claims by Russian state media and the Kremlin in regards to the disinformation that they're putting out at the moment about Ukraine.